Hello, I would like to talk about cholesterol. What's cholesterol? Is it bad? Is it good? Do we need it? Is it harmful to our health? Why there are a lot of rumors about it? Is that true? Okay, let us talk about it now scientifically and frankly as well. Cholesterol is a waxy fat that is synthesized in your body as well. You can eat it from different foods, from animal sources, like meat, like bone, like dairy products, as well egg yolk. The cholesterol in your body is not so bad as you think. Cholesterol is very important and essential for it enters in the structure of the cell wall, it enters in the structure of different hormones which are very important to you as well. For example, testosterone or estrogen or progesterone and cortisol on another hormone. That's the aldosterone, which is very important for sodium retention. It enters in the structure of bile acids and the bile, which is produced by the liver for the digestion of fat. So as you can see, it is very, very important for your health and for your life. But if it goes high, if it goes more plus in your body, it causes damage. But let me say there are different types of cholesterol. One is the LDL, that is the low density lipoprotein. And the other one is the high density lipoprotein. So you try just to keep the low low and to keep high high as possible. The low density lipoprotein cholesterol called bad one. Why it is bad? As a matter of fact, it is not bad unless it is it, it goes high in the blood because it's going to build up in the blood vessels and especially in the arteries. And with the time, it's going to narrow them. So at the end, they may close, end up with myocardial infarction or brain problem like stroke and other manifestation, which I hope you're not going to get if you hear carefully and follow. So, what makes this LDL low or the lower? The HDL. It's going to take the extra LDL back to the liver for catabolism. And so there, the level is going to go down. So we need HDL to reduce the level of LDL. As well, we can eat less animal products, which I mentioned in the beginning, so that we have less LDL in our body. Don't forget, if you eat all these things, okay, the absorption of them from the gut is not very much high, but they do stimulate the liver to produce more LDL. So the production of the liver as well as the mucous membrane in your gut makes the main percentage of your LDL in the body plus the things which you are going to so eat. The level in your blood should not be, I am speaking about the LDL, not more than 160 milligram per deciliter. And for the HDL, it needs to be more than 40 and 45 milligram per deciliter for 
male and female respectively. If you do have problem previous myocardial infarction or you have high blood pressure or you have diabetes mellitus or you are a little bit more in diameter with a very high BMI so keep in mind that you have a risk factor to make your life difficult or shorter so be careful to follow the following things reduce your blood pressure by all means which are available to control your blood sugar to get it in as normal as possible reduce your body weight and four you have to be sure that you are doing exercise five times a week for not less than 30 minutes you make it so that you sweat okay if you do all these things and check your LDL and HDL levels you are going to live longer and healthier follow me subscribe to the channel and if you have some comments write it down here under the video I would be very much thankful to you. Keep healthy and bye.